Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and it's Saturday again so I'm back with week 7 of the Horror Man Slashback Slasher Challenge and this week's theme um, all has to do with this week's particular holiday, Valentine's Day so Joe wanted us to review a slasher movie that had something to do with love or more specifically Valentine's Day I'm going to play it completely safe here guys and review 2001's Valentine. So I think this fits the theme perfectly, maybe a little bit too perfect, but um, I'd never seen this movie before, I'd owned it for quite a while, and I thought with this week's theme and of course Valentine's Day this week, I thought it was finally the perfect opportunity for me to check this movie out, so this is what I will be reviewing. So 2001's Valentine centers around five young women, Dorothy, Paige, Kate, Lily and Shelley and they've been friends since grade school an event happened to them um, back in grade school and it's kind of come back to haunt them within this movie a killer in disguise is slowly picking off these women one by one there's a little bit of a whodunit sort of storyline involving the police and the group themselves as they're all trying to figure out who's possibly killing them off um, so they're trying to find out who the killer is but yeah that is essentially the storyline for this one so now I'll get on to what I thought of this film so as I mentioned earlier I'd never seen this one before and I've been kind of putting it off for a while because I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of slashes from this era late 90s early 2000s for me a lot of them don't really hold up too well but I've got to say, after watching this one, I was pleasantly surprised. It's nothing utterly amazing, but it is really, really good. There's a few components to the film that I thought were pretty awesome. And for me, it definitely holds up as one of the better slashes from this particular era. So, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. So, first and foremost, the acting, the characters, I thought were all really, really good, especially for a movie from this particular era. I didn't really have an issue with any of the characters whatsoever. All really good, all played their roles well, and the acting was pretty solid throughout the entire movie. The killer, got to mention the killer, easily the best part of this film. Had a really, really simple disguise and costume, but I absolutely loved the killer's costume. The mask used was like a cherub or cupid mask, so really, really simple, but pretty creepy, and it looked absolutely awesome. The rest of the outfit was cool as well, it was a black coat, pants and black gloves and it had a really simplistic yet stylish look to it which I really really liked and this was definitely a stylish um, slasher especially in terms of the kills. A couple in particular were absolutely phenomenally done I think. Great set pieces, I'm not going to spoil too much but the two standout kills for me were definitely the kill in the morgue and the spa bath kill. Those were definitely my two favourites, but all the rest of the kills were all pretty good as well. Good variety, and there was a pretty decent amount as well. Um, so all in all, I thought this was a really, really good slasher from the early 2000s, and it definitely still holds up pretty well, in my opinion. The only negative thing that I have to say about this movie, and it's kind of a big one, um, is the ending. I thought the ending was pretty generic, pretty lame, to be completely honest, when everything's revealed and the killer's revealed. I thought that was really, really generic. But other than that, I thought the movie was really, really good, as I said. The killer looked fantastic. The kills were really good. The acting was good, and it also had a pretty good Valentine's Day vibe to it as well. So yeah, that's been my review for 2001's Valentine. If you've seen this film, definitely let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. Um, I know that this has just had a Blu-ray release from Screen Factory and I've been hearing pretty good things about the transfer and it looks to have a lot of special features. So in the future, I may end up picking up the blu-ray i definitely liked the movie enough to upgrade but yeah that's been my review if you've seen it as i said let me know what you think of it in the comment section below and if you haven't seen this one i do recommend it especially if you're a fan of 
late 90s or early 2000s slashes. It's definitely well worth checking out. Until next Saturday, I'll be back with another review. I hope you've enjoyed this one, and thank you for watching.